this is agenda item 6D. Mr. Ty? Yes, sir. <clears throat> so um, one of the things we've looked at for a while, and it really, uh, Hurricane Adalia helped us um, uh, focus the, the need, need for it, is um, a damage assessment software here at Adalia. We just sent some of our personnel out with pen and paper, we did door to door, you know, did the windshield surveys. Um, Crisis Track is a um, uh, software system that allows us to do that digitally so we can give people tablets, they can have an app on their phone. Um, and there's no limit to the number of users, so we can have it on all the first responders out there, um, but also our damage assessment team. Um, it'll be a lot, lot more efficient. Once they go out and do the damage assessment, they can also take pictures while they're there. Um, they bring that back to the EOC. It automatically puts it on the forms for us to quickly transmit up to GEMA and get our damage assessment information up um, sooner. It also has a, um, uh, a public um, portal where the, we can push out a website and the public can self-report their damage assessment. So that kind of, um, we would obviously still verify that, but they can submit their damage pictures as well. So it gives us another tool to interact with the public for them to send us that information from the damaged areas to help us get that information transmitted more quickly. Um, and then there's some, you know, we, there's even possibly some some day-to-day -day uses that we can use again, trying to realize the, the best cost benefit. We get, you know, if we use it on a day-to-day -day basis, then it's going to be, be more efficient than um, during the storm when we have to use it. This was something that we had put in our budget, um, and, and it was going to be part of our budget request to see if we could um, uh, have that for, for this upcoming season. Um, GEMA actually was able to provide us with some of the additional grant funding. So rather than having a budget for it in our FY25 budget, um, we're, we're going to proposing to use that grant fund from GEMA to go ahead and get it, um, get it implemented. That funding is time to get it in place by hurricane season. And then, you know, assuming it works as we, you know, as we think it will, then going forward about the team. Uh, you mentioned some everyday type uses for this to give us some <coughs> solid example. We got that eight inches of rain roughly, give or take, where you might have been at, and we had a lot of flooding areas, flooding roads, uh, washes, and those sort of things. Um, all the forms of the Utilize that process to make reports of the damage. Yes, sir. So you can you can have it set up. Um, so what would happen in that case? It, we can set up an incident on the fly. So if it was a uh, hey, we flooding May 2024, we can go ahead and set that up and then tell people go to the flooding 2024 to report your damage. But even on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, just a regular rainstorm, we can't have it set up to where. There's a way for people to report um, road washouts and that stuff on a, on a regular basis. Yeah. Um, it also helps. You know, we, it also helps track our, our time. So you know there'll be a little bit of implementation. But you know, to say during Hurricane Dahlia, one of the, the things that we had to provide for FEMA was all our time records. So um, it, you know we can um, once we get everybody trained, use it to track. Our time and you know, put it on the proper FEMA form so it makes it easier for us to submit that information. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of potential uses. You know, if, if we approve it, um, the next step would be the implementation where we'll we do training with all the departments and figure out, let them decide hey, you know, what are some areas they, they might can use it and make sure they get enough money for our Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking because we have currently code red now we're moving uh, potentially to raid. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the pre-event warning set up mm -hmm. for the public. That's right. But I think it would be, or I feel like that it would be uh, an advantage as well for local governments to have a process that if citizens are out there, not necessarily damage to their personal property, but if they see damage outside that's in the county somewhere, they can make that report and it be instantly sent to public works or That's to right. you and then you yeah, know we, we can have it set up so in that case if it was if we were trying to capture road damage data i mean i would get it but if we could have it sent to as many many people i, th I think robin has a 
generic email set up. We can have it set where it goes to that email, which then spreads that to all our people so the right person gets it. Okay. So there's a lot of ways we can work with her and some of the other departments to okay. use that. Good. Right. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Mr. Tucker.